Um, right, so give me, um, that's what the main thing I'm after is the, because you mentioned the ones which you could like reconcile with the uh, law and profits, but oh yeah, that's right. So you know with the, the poor, uh, sorry, the ugly food you want to say, um, but then if you read Isaiah 66, that would unreconcile that particular Okay. Uh, because it says, uh, alright, Uh -huh. It says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire, or with his chariots like a whirlwind. So render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord come with all flesh, and the flame of the Lord shall be many. So, who do you say that Lord is? It's like the Lord God, isn't it? Well, yeah, but he's going to be coming, and he's going to be using his sword and fire. Oh, oh, well, if, if we compare with Revelation, that sounds like Jesus. Yeah, okay, so... Um, then 17 says, They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree, in the midst, in the midst, eating swine's flesh and the abomination and the mouse, shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. For I know their works and their thoughts. It shall come that I will gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and see my glory. So, notice he says, so he's going to come with fire and a sword, and then, he's, then those ones who are uh, sanctifying and purifying themselves in the gardens and the eating swine's flesh, they'll be pursued together. So he's going to be burning the yeah. eating swine's flesh. Yes, yes, I'm for it. I'm up for the, for the I'm, I'm up the Kaiba because I'm a bacon eater. But you, listen, you, you've got a point, right? I think what that's saying is that um, for, for, for the, the imagery of that time is making it clear that you know you, the, the people, the pagans who were eating bacon at <laughs> that time, yeah. they were, their paganism dictated they could eat anything. For to be a true believer in God, you limited the kind of things you ate. Right. But when Jesus comes, he now abrogates that because he's, he's breaking down that barrier between us and the pagan, between the Israelites and the pagans, because now the pagans can, be, can become true believers. And so there's no longer need to hold on to that image of the swine eater being damned. I don't think it, I don't think that Isaiah there, uh, that God in, in speaking in Isaiah is saying that forever those who eat food which formerly was seen to be not kosher are actually out of favour with God. I believe that when I believe that the Bible is saying in the New Testament that Jesus declared all foods clean, and that when Saint Peter saw all the animals coming down in his vision, that was a, another sign that you don't have to worry about what you eat and eating the food sacrificed to gods. Again, it could be any kind of food, but it doesn't matter anymore.